just under two hours. So once that's done, then I'm gonna get in the shower. And then when I'm done the showering, I'm gonna go to my aunt's house and drop off her Bissell cleaner that she loaned me. But for right now, I am just looking at the different modules that we have to go over. So I am currently two weeks out of nursing school for the second semester. Right now, she has only sent out a draft schedule just so we can get an idea of what section we might want to sign up for and then the objective modules uh, and that's about it. So, and this is only for our med search class too. This is not for our OB class. I don't know what we're going to be doing for that one. But it looks like module one consists of respiratory run one, diabetes, fluid and electrolytes, IV seminar, and then an IV lab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Surface Pro and I'm going to write it out. For each section, I'm going to write like what chapters I need to read. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> So today is Friday. The Canvas page for our school opened up, which means I have access to the final draft of everything for the schedule, for clinicals. I see everything that I need to do for school for this upcoming week and upcoming month. What I had been doing previously is they send out the objectives early for the first test that we'll be having, which isn't until I think like the second week of February. So I was just starting reading for the first lecture, which will be on Tuesday, Monday's orientation. Tuesday is uh, first lecture day. I do plan on finish reading most tonight. And then if I have to, I guess I'll do that on like Sunday because I just needed a break from doing that. I just couldn't keep reading. But this 
weekend is just going to consist of me getting ready for this semester. I'm going to try to keep up and post something for you guys. I was not able to focus on school and do any sort of like recording for YouTube last semester. I was just so <laughs> overwhelmed by everything that was going on. I did come out successfully of semester one with a 4.0. Never in my career did I ever have anything like that happen to me. Like I've never gotten perfect grades before, but I got a great GPA. I don't, I'm not gonna be down on myself if I don't get that same GPA this semester. I'm going to try to get as good a grade as I can this semester, of course. I'm not gonna just like fail everything just because like, or get like the bare minimum just because I did really great the first semester. I'm gonna still try, but I'm not gonna beat myself up if I don't get the 4.0 like I did last semester. So that's a pretty big accomplishment for me. We finished up clinicals virtually. Uh, we never really, we never went in for clinicals in person. Uh, it was more so just them going through and we would just fill out paperwork beforehand as if we were going to clinicals with our fake patients. And then when we were in clinicals, we would just sit down and talk about our paperwork. We would do fake med passes. That was more so just to give us an idea of like what it would kind of be like and then we have, we, we had like papers to do during that which could mean like going through the textbook and doing something there or i don't know it wasn't like it wasn't the worst experience but it also i know i'm like not gonna be ready for real clinicals which this semester we are actually going to clinicals i'm really excited this semester consists of my OB rotation and my med surge rotation. It's a little weird how it's set up because basically we start clinicals a month from now. So in February we start. And for me personally, I'm going to be starting doing my med surge clinicals. And then I think after five weeks of doing my med surge rotation, I'm going to switch over for three weeks doing my OB rotation which will be 12 hour shifts. The med surge is gonna be eight hour shifts. And then after those three weeks of the OB, I'll go back to med surge and finish up my med surge clinicals until I think May is when we stop doing clinicals. And then we just focus on uh, finals and stuff like that. But not everybody is set up that way. Some people start off doing their three weeks of OB and then finish off with the med surge. And some people start with the med surge and then end with OB. So it's just kind of like wherever they could fit you. But I'm very excited. I got two hospitals that are pretty nearby. I was really worried I was gonna get this one where I would have to drive like really far. I mean, I'm talking like over an hour to two hours just to get there. I was thinking in my head, I would have to get up at like five in the morning. No, not even five, like three in the morning just to get there on time. But thankfully I didn't. Um, I do have the morning clinicals, uh, but we're going to be going over more of that, I'm sure, later. I am very excited for this semester to begin. I have enjoyed my break, but it's been tiring. Like, I've done nothing but sit in this chair, and I'm going to continue to do nothing but sit in this chair through the semester, but at least this time I'll get to go to a hospital and take care of real patients. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, we learn IVs this semester as well, so I think my IV lab is two weeks from now. I think it's February 9th is when I start practicing on IVs and stuff. So back to what I've been doing today, I have just been going through my Canvas page and looking at all of the resources that I have to look at. I have been looking at what I need to do for Monday, which consisted of signing a bunch of, you know, like consent forms and, you know, COVID forms and taking a couple of quizzes, nothing too difficult, just like practice stuff. So I think that that's what this vlog is gonna continue with. It's just me getting ready for school because that is all that I'm doing right now is just thinking about school starting on Monday. Oh, I can show you a few things that I got. 
Okay, so since I didn't go to real clinicals last semester, I didn't really need anything. Like I didn't buy anything specifically for clinicals last semester, but this semester I bought some white under scrubs and I bought some white long sleeve under scrubs for when I'm at the hospital because I get cold. I also bought some compression socks as well. And then the other things that I got was I needed a lunch bag because I'm gonna be packing lunches. So I got this one. It's by Ballaret. I got it off of Amazon. It's got some nice like aluminum insulation. I'll link it down below. And then I wanted a clinical bag because I have a couple of like tote bags, but like they're really like just, they're just like a bag. There's no like pockets or anything in there. And then I have a book bag, but the book bag isn't really waterproof or anything. So I decided to get it this, which is by Maven. I also got this off of Amazon. It's, you can like carry it like a tote, but you can also use it as a backpack too, which I really liked. There's a bunch of pockets. It's huge, like way bigger than I expected. Um, so there's like a pocket in the back. There's this little pocket. This pocket like folds down. So you have like these mesh pockets, pens. If you wanted to put like an ID or something like that, you could, some little back pockets. It's got side pockets for like a water bottle. And then this part can just unclip. We'll open it up. And then the inside is huge. So like this is like two big pockets, a little pocket back here this big open space um there's room for a laptop if you wanted to put your laptop in here another mesh part so i'm gonna be jam-packed ready i really don't know like what besides like the basic stuff i really don't know what i will be needing to bring with me obviously i have my clipboard that i'll bring i have um my blood pressure cuff and my stethoscope with my other items in it which has my scissors and light pens and everything and then the other two things that i wanted to show you is i got the med surge success textbook and i got the maternity and newborn success textbook which has basically like a bunch of like helpful questions that you can go through try to answer them and then at the end it shows you rationales as to why it was right and why it was wrong and i also got an nclex textbook which i don't know if i'll start using yet i'll probably wait until like next semester okay so i never finished off the vlog that i started like i didn't i don't have any like ending clips or anything like that so i just wanted to let you guys know that i had finished off my sunday that was the day that i was going to stop videoing and everything and um i picked back up on monday for or on tuesday for orientation and lectures so i really appreciate you guys watching my videos i hope if you like them then you can like and subscribe um i am working on a second vlog right now for my first week in school so if you'd like to see that uh, i'll be back on again next week so be on the lookout for that and again i appreciate you guys watching this video and i'll, I'll uh, see you next week